In this video, I'll be a bit more personal and explain what I wish I knew before I started sleeping polyphasically. I'll go over my polyphasic experience and what I learned from each failed attempt. You'll be amazed how many times I actually tried it before I managed to adapt to a schedule and I'll talk about that all in this video. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Crimson Flower and I'm a main author of Polyphasic.net, the community recommended resource for polyphasic sleepers. So let me start off by explaining how I started sleeping polyphasically. There came a moment when my daughter was born when I suddenly needed more time and I came across polyphasic sleeping. I was like, wow, a way to shorten the time you spend sleeping? <laughs> Count me in. <laughs> what I didn't realize was that it wasn't going to be as easy as I expected. See, before I do something, I usually research it thoroughly. Before I actually started sleeping polyphasically, I rummaged through the subreddit for months, you know, just taking in all the da data that I could. I googled the topic, I watched videos on YouTube, and eventually I started reading scientific papers about polyphasic sleeping and sleep in general. I was persuaded by reports of adaptations only lasting a week, with some even claiming that it only took a few days for them to adapt. I, again, I was like, wow, <laughs> I can surely be sleep deprived for a few days and feel amazing. But that's not exactly what happened. The first schedule I attempted was segmented. I was on it for just a few days and then realized that my planned schedule wouldn't work because of scheduling issues. No worries, I had an idea what I should do next time. Now, segmented is a pretty easy schedule, so it didn't occur to me that I shouldn't be drinking caffeine, uh, that I needed to be strict with my sleep times and a bunch of other stuff that I'll go into in a bit. So anyways, after segmented I was like, hey, man, I need to fix my situation before I try polyphasic sleeping again. So I spent three months cutting out caffeine uh, to zero, and then I started an Everyman 2 adaptation. This time I was set! I was going to defeat this beast. So I did what many new people do. I made sure I slept for my naps. I flexed the sleep timings. I stretched the naps to 25 minutes to be able to fall asleep. And after about 10 days on the schedule, uh, my baby kept waking up every night along the way that interrupted my sleep, trashed my sleep quality, and I was pretty much not able to fall asleep for my naps. <laughs> so I lost the ability to speak coherently. Yeah. Uh, I could pretty much only mumble and it was not a nice situation to be in. Still, I had my fighting spirit and I would not let this get in my way. But there came an even bigger obstacle, my girlfriend. <laughs> she would have none of it when I couldn't even speak. So we came to the conclusion that I needed to switch sleep schedules with, to one with a higher sleep total. And that's where my first adaptation to Everyman 1 started. I was on Everyman 1 for a bit over a month. A month and 30 days to be precise. During this time, I just couldn't figure out what I was doing wrong, okay? <laughs> I tried moving my nap to align with a brack dip so that I should be able to fall asleep. Um, to, uh, at one point I was using a sleep tracker built into my phone to make sure that I woke up during light sleep. And at other times I tried my darnest to figure out my sleep cycle length so that I could wake up and feel fine. But I didn't. <laughs> no, now it was nearly Christmas and my sleep schedule would be ruined then. So I switched back to monophasic sleep again, but I wouldn't give up. I spent even more time researching. I found the polyphasic discord and got a hold of experienced people there and I could finally answer the questions without having to spend a few weeks experimenting myself for the people who had already tried these things in the past. This time I was set. I had invested in a Zio sleep tracker and my adaptation to Dual Core 2 started in April next year. I was rocking it, I had quit caffeine again, I was rigid with my sleep times, I was following a dark period, then I overslept. <laughs> it's actually quite funny. At one point I was so sleep deprived that I fell asleep in a sitting position that I was sure that I wouldn't be able to fall asleep in. But I did. 
and I sp you best believe I didn't spend the core gap sitting anymore. Anyways, I was going to conquer Dual Core 2. But then I got a summer job, and I was again forced to switch schedules. But I refused to go back to monophasic sleep. No, I would try every man one, and I would adapt to it. Okay. And that's exactly what I did. I adapted to every man one after 61 days on the schedule, and I was able to stay on my schedule until the end of April when I fell sick. But fortunately, at the same time, I ended my job, so I didn't really need the extra time anymore. So I just kept the nap and extended the core. And that's pretty much the schedule I've been on since. Every man one extended, where the nap gives me a nice alertness boost. So, what exactly do I wish I knew before I started sleeping polyphasically? I wish I knew that you have to be extremely rigid with the sleep times, no deviating from them, and actually the community recommendation is to keep the alarm at the same time every day, and only shorten the sleep if you need to not move it at all. The difficulty of scheduling was also something that I couldn't imagine. Compared to monophasic sleeping, uh, even every man one is hard. I also wish that I knew about the unreliability of sleep trackers and wrist wristworn sleep trackers, especially and phone applications. How stimulants affect sleep would have been nice to be aware of from the get go. How adaptations don't only last for a few days, as I was expected in the beginning. But the most important thing I want people to get from this video is that you don't usually manage to adapt on your first try. For me it took five attempts until I was able to adapt and seeing people succeed on their first try, you know, it's really rare. Even today when the resources have been improved immensely and there's a surplus of information that you can gather, most people don't adapt on their first try. So when you start your polyphasic adaptation, make sure that you get into it full on out. Follow all practices rigidly and make sure that you don't underestimate any schedule, even the easy ones. That's what makes you oversleep. But most importantly, don't throw away polyphasic sleep if you fail one schedule. And don't be afraid to get help from experienced people. In the video description, I've linked the Discord, uh, the subreddit polyphasicnet and so on. Go check those out if you need help. Let's make sure that you manage to adapt to your schedule. Together, in the description, I will also add a bunch of links to relevant videos that I talked about here. So check those out next. Thank you. And I'll be seeing you in the future. Remember to have pleasant naps, people.